What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about five things you should know if you're PCSing to Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. First thing we're going to talk about is the base itself, of course. So Seymour Johnson Air Force Base has about just over 4,000 active duty members. It has about 1,000 employees, civilian, civilian employees, and contractors combined. The base itself is very small. It's only about 3,300 3, acres but it does have its own commissary and exchange. Now, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base is in Goldsboro, but if you're trying to get to like the heart of Goldsboro, which is the, the city itself, it's about a 10 to 15 minute commute from the base. Oh, that's not far. Mm, no. Goldsboro is in Wayne County and Goldsboro, the city itself has about a population of 37,000 people. Wayne County has a population of just over 112,000 people. It's a small town. Goldsboro is the biggest city in Wayne County, and the other cities that are in Wayne County are Seven Springs, Marmac, Mount Olive, Eureka, Elroy, Pikeville, Wana Creek, Fremont, and Brigada. Now, according to the Census Bureau, Goldsboro is actually declining in population. And Goldsboro is a small little city, not much to do there um, other than Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. So a lot of people out there are retired or just farmers. So not a lot to do there. They do have a mall. They do have a movie theater. So there's some things to do. Now, if you're looking to venture outside of Goldsboro, the biggest city is Raleigh, which is about an hour away. And you've got Fayetteville, which is out, which is an hour away. And I actually live in um, Hope Mills, which, which is right next to Fayetteville. So if you're looking to venture out, you you don't have far to go to do things. Um, Raleigh, obviously, being a bigger city, is going to have more things to do than Fayetteville. I need a fun night out. So the next thing I talk about is going to be the crime in Goldsboro. So the violent crime in Goldsboro is at 11.8%. And the state average is... 0.26%. So the chances of you being a victim of a crime in Goldsboro, violent crime in Goldsboro, are higher than the entire state. This is also per 1,000 residents. Robbery crimes were just over 50% for, for the city of Goldsboro and statewide for the whole state of North Carolina is just at over 20%. There's crime going on everywhere. Next thing I'm going to talk about are the schools. So if you are living on Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, they do not have any Department of Defense schools there or DOD schools there. So living on the base, your children will attend the following schools. You will either attend Meadow Lane Elementary School, Greenwood Middle School, or Eastern Wayne High School. I love school. Now beware, as a real estate agent or realtor, I cannot tell you what are the best schools in uh, Wayne County or any uh, county in North Carolina. Due to the Fair Housing Act, which is a federal law, um, I'm not going to give my opinion about sex, read, color, um, race, or anything like that. So if you ask a realtor what are the best schools, stuff like that, they shouldn't be telling you that. Um not to, and if they are, don't tell me who they are because I don't care. Just tell me, please, please. <laughs> but um, they shouldn't be telling you that. Um, I will tell you this. I will say the most desired school district to people so they know, like, if they're asking about a certain house and where it's at and what's the school like, I'll say, well, this is the most desired school district. And as realtors, the last thing we want is to give our opinion to you about something like that. Get there, you buy the home. Next thing you know, you hate this school and you're going to go, well, James Walker's my realtor. He told me this was a great school district. So that's one reason why I'm not going to tell you or give you my opinion. I will just tell you what I've heard. Now, with that all being said, I am going to provide you with two links about schools. The first one is going to be a North Carolina school report card, which is going to be right here in front of you. And it'll be in the link below. And what this report card does, it gives you every school report card in the state of North Carolina. I've made it to where all you do is click on Wayne County and it gives you everything about every school in Wayne County. It tells you which schools are meeting expectations, which schools are above expectations, and which ones are below expectations. And this is provided by the North Carolina um, school report card. 
The next site I give you is going to be a third party website and it's called greatschools.org. And also that will be the link below and it's right here in front of you also. And like I said, it's a third party website. Um, I've seen it being pretty, pretty accurate, but um, I think the better website will be the one provided by North Carolina. But greatschools.org is very user friendly. Um, all you got to do is you can just literally, if you're looking at an address, if you're looking to live at... Uh, 123 Main Street, all you have to do is type that in. It pops up all the local schools um, from elementary school, middle school to high school, and even charter schools. Information. That's all they wanted was information. Now, if you're looking to rent a home in Goldsboro or the surrounding areas, a three-bedroom, two-bath home is about roughly from $1,000 to about $1,500 on average. And of course, be aware, this is where you're going to live. So it could be higher in some areas, obviously lower in other areas. If you're looking to rent a four bedroom, two bath home or more, it's gonna be about $1,600 to about $2,000. And again, be aware of where that these prices are kind of fluctuating because of where it could be. Now, I typically don't deal with apartments because I'm a realtor, um, but if you're looking to rent an apartment, a two-bedroom, two-bath two bath apartment usually runs from about $875 to just about $1,200. If you're looking to rent a three-bedroom, two-bath apartment, I saw some from about $975,000 to about $1,400. And these prices range because of the amenities that are provided with it. Um, some may have a pool, a clubhouse, a gym, laundry, and wash and dryer on site, things like that. And of course, how close you are living to the base or to the city that, you're, that your apartment is in. So these all vary also due to the size and how new or older they are, gated, things like that. Now, if you're looking to buy a house in Goldsboro, the surrounding areas, the medium price range is about $189,000. For a three bedroom, two bath home, I saw an estimate between the prices of $109,000 to $269,000. For that price, I saw most of the square footage was about just at 2,000 square footage or more. And of course, these prices are going to fluctuate due to the fact of how upgraded they are, how new the house is, um, how many acres of land you have or don't have, um, HOAs and stuff like that. And if you're looking at a four bedroom, two bath house or more, you're looking at about 3,000 square feet. And the price I saw were between 250,000 to up to $300,000 or more. And of course, like I just said, be aware of things like do the price, um, do the price range. It could be, you know, how new or old the house is, HOAs, um, renovations, upgrades, stuff like that. In front of you, I've got a printout of the 2022 BAH rates for Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. And as you can see, the BAH rates have increased by 100% from 2021. And for soldiers moving here in 2022, without dependents receive 17.0% more than BAH orders without dependents. If you enjoyed that video, please check out these videos right here where I talk about the cost of living in North Carolina. And the video below it is a video YouTube thinks you may like. See you guys in the next video.